I thought that I could get away with using swivel casters, but it turned out not to be the case. <laughs> So I used a couple L brackets to hold the swivel casters in place. I know I could have used non-swiveling casters, but I didn't have any on hand and I didn't really want to spend any more money on this project. This is the windshield wiper mechanism from a Fiat 850. I'm salvaging the motor off of it and that's what's going to spin the drum. Since the wiper motor didn't have a central pivot point, I welded a bolt onto it to act as an axle for the drum. Now I'm adding a couple pieces of wood to the inside of the drum so that it agitates the abrasive media as it rotates.
Okay. I threw a lot of little bits of metal and stuff in there, so I'm going to take it out and wipe it off with a cloth. So let's take a look at what was in the in the tumbler for about an hour. Uh, first of all, remember I put this bolt in. This is what it looked like before I put it in. And this is what it looked like upon removing it from the tumbler. It's been in there probably about, this one about an hour and 15 minutes probably. So not too shabby. This is a bracket that was on the bottom of a car. And uh, it took most of the paint off. Unfortunately, it took the paint off in the areas that were that had uh, some surface corrosion already. Um, you can see there's still paint here on the areas that aren't as badly corroded, but it did take a lot of that loose rust off. Again, took the paint off, smoothed it down. Looks pretty good. Parts like these, I'd say, are ready for paint after being in there for about an hour. These are some little brake fitting clamps. These are usable. This is this sliding wedge piece off of a Fiat brake caliper. Um, so it took the, the surface corrosion off and it's pretty smooth now. I'd say that's usable. There's another one. This one's a little bit more corroded. Might want to replace this one. There's a couple nuts. Usable. Not very pretty, but they've only been there for an hour. These are brake caliper springs, um, and they turned out really nice. Those look fantastic. It's all did. So like I said, these were all in there for about an hour. Um, I stopped it because the motor got, was getting quite warm. Uh, it was... 12 volts the entire time and consistently about four and a half to five amps. Um, so I think I might want to find another motor that uh, is a little bit beefier, maybe uh, slower spinning as well. The only other modification I made is I elevated this end a little bit so that the the um, abrasive tends to settle down at that one side so it doesn't come out when I try to open it. Uh, but other than that, I think I'm going to add a an actual power supply and call it a day.